Grant Lithman here alongside Rob Doster, and we are going to break down some big-time draft prospects. And first, let's start with one that you are very high on. That is Sadiq Bey. He's a sophomore out of Villanova. He's six foot eight, two sixteen. What do you like most about him, Rob? You know, I think there's two things that he does very, very well that makes me really intrigued in terms of what he could end up being in the NBA. The first is that I think he is as good of a versatile defender as you're going to find. Uh, in this year's draft class. Um, you can go back and you can find film of him chasing Miles Powell, who was an All-American at Seton Hall around screens, and staying in front of Marcus Howard, who averaged 27 points a game this year. You could see him guarding the best player on every opponent's uh, backcourt throughout the season. You know, you look at every single Villanova game, that's the guy that he's guarding. Uh, he's also big enough and strong enough that he can guard up. He's, you mentioned he's six foot eight. Well, I think he's still growing. You know, you talk to that Villanova staff, and what they'll tell you is when they first saw him, he was like a six foot one uh, point guard when he was in high school, when he was a sophomore. He was five foot eight as a freshman in high school. So he grew throughout his entire high school career. There was never a growth spurt. He just kept growing. And then when he was in college, they feel like he's gotten a little bit taller as well. So he's got the size to be able to guard up. You know, there's, there's clips that you can find of him uh, boxing out Udoka Azabuki, a seven footer for Kansas, and uh, walling up and, and guarding guys like Sandrew Mamukel from Seton Hall in the post. Um, so if you have a guy that can guard point guards, that can box out centers, and that can guard power forwards, that's pretty much the definition of a multi-positional defender. He can, he, can, he can handle anybody that you want him to stay in front of. Uh, the other part of it is he shoots 45% from three. Right. And he's got more than five threes per game. So if you want to talk about a three and D guy, that is what he is. You know, he's going to knock down open jumpers. He's going to be able to guard whoever you put him in front of. And the thing that I like about him the most is, is it's just coming from that Villanova system, right? Um, what, what Jay Wright does is uh, he switches everything defensively. Like Villanova is one of those programs. They don't care if they get caught in a mismatch. They expect their point guards to be able to guard centers and their centers to be able to guard point guards up and down the lineup. They also, the way that they run their offense is, about having playmakers at every spot that are able to do uh, things that don't necessarily fit with their position type, which is, I think, why you see so many of these Villanova players, whether it's Eric Pascal or Josh Hart or Brunson, you know, guys like that just kind of last in the NBA as role players because basically what they're doing at Villanova is being trained to play a role in the modern NBA. So if you're telling me I can get a guy that shoots 45% from three, that is able to guard point guards through power forwards, and that plays in a system that develops you and turns you into this multi-positional, versatile NBA piece, I, that, that's great value in a draft like this. So if you can get him in like the 14 to 16 range, I think it's an absolute steal. I would take him in the top 10 if he was available there. And honestly, I think he is a perfect fit for what Golden State wants um, out of this year's draft. So I know I went long there, but I, I love Sadiq Bay. I love what he could be in the NBA. And I think he's – someone's going to get him in the 20s and he's going to be a steal. Yeah, and it makes everything – everything you're saying makes sense in terms of matching straight into what the Warriors need right now. They're always looking for the switchability on defense. They like a long defender, hopefully from the wing position that can guard all positions. As Steve Kerr said, he looks for two things first. He looks like can he hit an outside shot and can he defend. So – in my mind, just hearing what you said, I read your article about him, and it sounds like he's a little slow off the dribble and creating in that way. Could you see him more like a Robert Covington type in the league? Yeah, you know, I think that's actually not a bad comparison. Um, I do think he's a little bit more, uh, more of a wing and I think more skilled on the offensive end. You know, Covington, when I picture him and I think about him, he's like a four that can guard down where I think of Sadiq Bey as kind of like a wing that can guard up, if that makes sense. Yeah. He's still – the point guard skills are there. You know, he's not a guy, he's not explosive. Like, he's not going to dunk on you. He's not going to blow by you off the dribble. But he's got a decent handle. He's able to get you off balance. And, like, his big thing is he takes really short steps. Like, he's got long legs. And you watch the video. He takes really, really short steps. And if you can get those strides to be longer, then maybe he's actually able to beat people off the dribble. And the thing about it is, you know, he doesn't have to be – like, he's not going to be isolated in the NBA. He's not that kind of a guy. You're not going to run him through 25 ball screens uh, in the NBA. Like, he's not that guy. He's not good enough to be that kind of a player. Um, but he is a guy that can make the right pass. He is a guy that has the ability to read ball screens, to read defenses. He sees when the tagger is going to be there and can make a cross-court pass. He can throw the lot. Like, he can do those things if you need him to because he grew up playing the point, which is another reason why I'm just – I'm so enamored with what he can be as a role player. Like, you're going to be asking him to space the floor, 
to be able to beat closeouts and to be able to defend. And he, those are the things that he does best. And he played in a system that forced him to be a complete all around basketball player. So I just, he's going to be one of these guys. Like here's my prediction for Sadiq Bay. He's going to get picked like 20th in this year's draft and he's going to make the, the all rookie first team. And everyone's going to say, how did we miss on that? guy?" He's going to be this year's Malcolm Brock. Hey, seems like a type of guy that the Warriors may trade down to get at some point as well.